안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. Today I want to talk to you about the process that I follow when I'm learning a new programming language. And that's because nowadays I'm very interested in Go and many people have been asking me how did I learn Go? Did I take a course? Did I watch a video? Did I read a book? What did I do? So that's what I want to talk about on this video and this process that I'm going to describe has helped me learn many languages and many frameworks over the years. So that's what I want to share that with you. Now, first we need to answer the question, why should you as a developer that already have a job as a developer, how should, why should you learn a new language? What's the point? Well, if you are a developer, let's say you're a Python developer and you learn a new language, what's going to happen is that your Python code is going to improve. For example, when I was writing JavaScript most of the time, and then I went to learn Haskell and I came back from learning Haskell, my JavaScript code was so much better because of that. Because learning Haskell, I learned new ways of doing things. I learned new philosophies. I learned how to structure the code in a different way because of the Haskell rules. And then when I brought that into JavaScript, my code was way better because of that. So when you learn any new programming language, any new technology, those things have new philosophies, new patterns, new structures, new whatever, and that helps you when you bring those concepts back to your main programming language. So if you're a Python developer and you go and learn Rust, you might find something that you like from Rust and that you can bring into Python, and that means that you will become just a better developer overall. So the first thing I do when I'm learning a new language is I go to the documentation. On the documentation, I find out why did they create the language, what is the philosophy of the language, what is the best use case, who is using the language, and also the community, the creators, all that is there. So I go immediately to the documentation. Then I try to understand and remember the syntax of the language. So I need to find out if the language has parentheses or square brackets or curly braces, comma, no comma, all that. I get that done as fast as I can. Then what I do is I try to find equivalences. Equivalences taking knowledge that you already know on your main language and trying to take that into your new language. So for example, this is how you make a function on Python. How do you make a function on Go? I try to find that out. This is a variable on Python. How do I make a variable in Go? This is how you make a conditional in Python. How do I make a conditional in Go? I try to make these associations, these analogies, because the brain works so much better when learning something that is related to what you already know. Once I'm done with the equivalences, function, function, variable, variable, object, object, once I have that in my brain, I immediately go and start writing code. The most important thing is that you need to write code as fast as possible. Don't waste time looking at tutorials, don't waste time reading more about the language, write code. Now what code do I write? I don't write amazing things at the beginning, I just write the equivalences. I create a variable on that language, I create a function on that language, I create a conditional, a loop, all that on the language, so I'm familiar with writing on the new syntax. Once I'm done writing all those old concepts in a new language, what I do is I go for tutorials. The thing with tutorials is I felt like I was just copying code from the songs in them. I didn't feel like I learned anything, I just felt like I was just copy pasting code. So now what I do instead is that I take on a tutorial or a open source project or whatever, break it down and then put it back together. That's what I do now. I remove one part, remove another part and just break it down, understanding what happened and then I try to put it in together again. These kind of things help me understand more because now it feels like the code is mine. Because it feels like I can take it apart and I can put it back in together. And then once I'm done breaking and fixing other people's code, what I do is I start writing my own code. I start creating my own project. And this is when beginners have a problem and is that they start with projects that they have never built before. So they say, okay, I'm learning Go. I want to make a chatbot. And then you tell, okay, have you made a chatbot before? No. And that's a problem. When you want to make a project on a new programming language and also you have never made that project before, you have to find out two things. First, you have to figure out how to make the project logically and then you have to write that down on a new programming language and that is an impossible task. What I do instead is that I take projects that I already built and I turn them into the new programming language 
but the logic will be the same. And this allows me to focus on learning the new programming language instead of also having to figure out the logic of my new project. I take a to-do list that I built on JavaScript and I make a to-do list in React. Then I take a to-do list in React and I make a to-do list on Vue. So for example, and by the way, we are launching a new course today of Go. In the new Go course, what I do is that I take a Python project that I built before and I turn it into Go. So you build things that you already know on a language that you don't know. And that's the key for me. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. I hope that you can get any of this advice and I hope that I can help you learn programming languages faster. Like I said, we are launching the Go course today. It's finally here. So go and check it out. I know many people have waited for that, so I really try my best to make a very nice, sexy, free course. So thank you so much for your support. It's finally here. I delivered. I kept my word. I'm sorry it was so late, but I've been very busy. But there it is. So go and check it out. Click on the link on the description. And as always, don't forget to be happy. Don't forget to eat kimchi. Don't forget to be nice to people today. Take care of the virus. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. And as always, sanangheo, kamsamnida. Bye-bye.